Hi, this is Stan O'Connor of the Guides Association in New York City, and this is Gardener Comfort, one of our top guides. He's going to tell us a little about Chinatown today. All right, so I'm Gardener Comfort. I love this spot because Chinatown, as much as it's changed over the years, is still uh, a sort of low-scale immigrant neighborhood um, that still retains a lot of its downtown density and culture, which I really, really enjoy. Um, I also like that we're at a really kind of important historic uh, location. We're just north of where the notorious Five Points neighborhood used to be, no longer exists, but it was just beyond uh, that playing field over there. And we're right next to the Tombs, uh, Central Booking, uh, which gives the area a bit of a sort of a gritty, real feel that you can't escape. And, you know, much as I am um, a fan of, you know, Law and Order, there's, it's always good, especially in New York, to have a little bit of uh, unpredictability. I also like that uh, all the uh, older residents of Chinatown are, are being social and, uh, and continuing the China, Chinatown tradition of, of gambling in the park. Um, <laughs> I really, really enjoy it here. And, uh, and I'm a downtown kid. I grew up on the west side. Oh, yeah? And I just, uh, I just really, uh, I really like neighborhoods that still feel uh, like real neighborhoods in downtown Manhattan. Okay. Do you want me to introduce myself again? No. Okay. See that water tower up there? I'm obsessed with water towers. New York City's water is really, really interesting. We used to get all of our drinking water from a natural pond, which was just a block or so that way. It was called the Collect Pond, which was a mistranslation of Dutch word, Hulk Hulk, which was probably a, a bad pronunciation, uh, which essentially meant lime point or chalk point, referencing all of the oysters that used to be everywhere in the new world, so to speak. There, uh, in, in the city's rapid growth, there were tons of businesses that sprouted up alongside the Collect, slaughterhouses, tanneries, breweries, water got polluted fast, there was a cholera outbreak, they decided they had to do something, they drained the water to uh, the Hudson River and the East River, that's where Canal Street gets its name, and that, uh, 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 a man-made canal going west, they filled it in, and they started seeking their water farther and farther north. Now, all of New York City's water comes from a couple reservoirs north of the city. It comes uh, south, traveling downhill, picking up speed as it does, to the point that when it reaches the city, it has enough, enough natural momentum that it can go six stories into the air on its own. If you have a building that's over six stories in New York, it has to have a water tower on the roof, a man-made aquifer to hold that water. It gets electrically pumped up there, and every time somebody flushes a toilet, or uh, uh, turns on a sink in the, in, the, in the building, that water adjusts. It's kind of amazing. And they're still, for the most part, all made of wood because it's just the most efficient uh, material. But if you look at any building, even modern buildings, you'll find on the roof where the water tower is being hidden usually. It's usually sort of a windowless structure. And every time I lead tours, I point them out constantly and then people are obsessed with these things just like I am. So we're just steps north of what was originally Five Points, notorious slum uh, from the 1800s, immortalized in How the Other Half Lives and uh, Gangs of New York, the book and the, the movie. Um, I actually learned from another really great uh, um, tour guide that in many respects uh, it didn't live up to the hype of this, this miserable, crime-ridden spot. Uh, in many cases it was just a place where a lot of hard-working uh, albeit poor people lived, and yet we don't really have a lot of uh, remaining history of the Five Points. But since I'm talking about crime, I should mention uh, the uh, colloquially named tombs, uh, the courts buildings, the, uh, the central booking. Right here we have what used to be the jails and is now uh, the city court buildings. Just north of it is the newer building that is the jails. Um, you'll, if you ever do jury duty in New York, you'll end up in this area. Foley Square is right over there. A um, lot of kind of uh, uh, human reality happening right before your eyes. And just a reminder um, that as much as there's a lot of wealth all over the place in this city, this is a city full of uh, a tremendous amount of uh, stratification of wealth and a lot of people who uh, are not doing so well. So I am leading tours virtually and in person. Best way to get in touch with me is uh, either on Facebook, Gardner, the New York Tour Guide, 
or you can go to my website, gardnercomfort.com. That is primarily for my acting, um, and I will have a tour guide website up soon, but uh, those are the ways to find me. I hope to lead you on a tour soon. Thanks, Gardner. Thank you. This is Gannick, the Guides Association of New York City. Find us on the web at gamyc.com and hire a guide.